by 2025, 25% of our need for fuel as well as electric generation are going to come from on-farm resources. Farmers are going to be creating feedstocks or accommodating large, medium, small power generation, transmission, distribution, oil and gas exploration, pipeline infrastructure on farms, which means this. They are involved in energy development right now. They need to be able to effectively negotiate, understand their situations, take a look at a number of things that as these particular technologies come to the community, they're able to discuss, negotiate, and also ensure that once they're installed, they're going to be able to use their farm ground just as efficiently and effectively as it was than, than before. So that's important. Also taking a look too is this, is that many farmers already have the answers. It's just the questions they don't know yet. What questions do you need to ask basically an energy service provider? An attorney you want to have represent you in the negotiation? Uh, questions you want to ask folks with regard to financial planning, tax ramifications, royalty, all those come basically into play. So we need to get um, geared up to help a number of our friends and neighbors address those issues. When we talk about the Energy Security Act of 2007, we still have to be able to produce food here. The question basically at that particular time in 2007 is we need to find other feedstocks besides those two to have a diversified portfolio of material that we can create fuels from. So anything with a complex hydrocarbon chain, switchgrass, Giganus uh, scientificus, um, taking a look at, at manure, also working with folks with food processing waste, municipal sewage sludge, all those coming into play, taking a look at the new biomass technology that allows you to do several things in one culture at one time are going to be key.